Hello, this is episode three, a bonus episode. Episode two, we finished the bike, but I want to add some little finishing touches to it to make it look even better. And I'm not really happy with the grey paint we used on the forearm guard, the body of the bike, plus the uh, gun pod. So we're going to be repainting those as well as adding some, some more details to it. Right, so I spent about half an hour just adding random bits of conduit and wire here, there and everywhere just to kind of bulk it out a bit and add some details. Also taken off of an old bike these uh, brake handles which are pretty cool. Decided I want to build these up a bit, add an extra dimension to them so I've made a cardboard template. This would be recreated in steel. Um, and also I'm going to address the, the slim skinniness of this part here. It has the uh, big tank thing over the top here but this is quite slim underneath. It should all be kind of on one level so I'm going to take these off, stick some more 50mm tubing there and then put this on top so this is then brought out by 50mm on either side which is about flush with the thing that goes on top. That's going to be quite tricky getting a grinder in there I think to take them off but we'll see how we go. Also without the wheels on it it's a little bit wobbly so I want to address that and make it more secure to the stand. I think the easy way to do that is to take some more of this tubing stuff and have it run down parallel with the uh, the uprights of the, of the support on the bottom there and that will keep it that keep it solid so that way it can't tip or anything when people are trying to get on and off. Other than that that's pretty much all we're doing. Um, shouldn't take too long, a couple of hours I hope. Lots of conduit, cables, cable ties and various bits and bobs being welded on. So uh, we're going to sand down some of the bits that need welding on and away we go. Drawn round my template, which is this, so those arm guard things, and I'm going to cut them out of the same steel that they're made out of. Markton is back and he is holding on my big metal thing while I weld it. Yeah. Done the arm guards, welded those new bits to the top, and I've also then cut them and overlap this piece on top of this piece just to give it an extra layer, an extra dimension just to make it look a bit better once that's all painted so it's just one big solid piece of silver which is going to be the colour they're going to be uh, now moving on to the weapon pods and I've cut out some bits down here I'm going to attach to them to dress them up a bit Got to cut a piece out of this to make way for where the light is going to go. The light is going to be housed inside a piece of this two inch thick pipe. That's all my pieces laid out. Just gonna weld those on. We'll grind those smooth soon, just because I've done the rest. Let's do some painting. So, my little cup, matte black paint. Mix that about 60 40 with the thinner. 60% paint, 40% thinner. Stir it in. Put my respirator on because this stuff is nasty. Use that. Just 
So I've got the bits that need to be painted silver out here ready to paint. Already chucked a little bit of silver on that one just to see what it looks like and it looks pretty cool. Mask off the bits that I don't want silver. Now let's get to painting. Time for one of my favourite bits, unmasking. Now these should just slide off. That looks way better. There's a couple of tiny bits and my masking wasn't quite good enough and a bit of silver got through there. But I can fix that with a paintbrush and a bit of black. Likewise, down here, covered up a little bit too much. But I can fix that with a little paintbrush and a bit of silver. But yeah, looking pretty cool. Massive improvement. There's going to be a light going in here. So I'm going to do that, and then this will be almost ready to put back together.
there you go, a couple of hours spent adding a few additions to the back one plus a bit of paint makes a big difference. So that's this project all finished. Make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and check out the social media links in the description of this video for updates on my next project. What that's going to be, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm most likely going to be doing some more metal work and welding because it's so damn cool. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.